Hey guys, it's Lori Ballin out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, specializing in the Summerlin area. And today, as part of my 365 Days of KW Command video series, I'm bringing you the newest feature, how to add featured listings to your website. So right here, we're on my KW Command website. And obviously, I set this all up with a Kelly guide, and then I went in and added some extra um, images and pages to the website, which you're free to check out there. And then if you scroll down right here, now we have featured listings. So I want to show you how to add these featured listings to your website. Now, when you first log in to KW Command, right now at least, there is this um, call to action up here that says your new all new KW app is here. Follow this guide to customize and brand the app to your business. So this is a Kelly guide. And in the Kelly guide, you're able to set up your app, your app smart plan, and your buyer and seller guide, as well as your featured listings. They're all rolled in now to one Kelly guide. So I'm going to show you another place for the featured listings, but I always start with the Kelly guide because that's easiest just to do a simple walkthrough and set everything up. So go ahead and click the Kelly guide. And when you get to this screen, click get started and then next. And then your first area here is your app download. So you can um, grab your app URL and your app text code and note those somewhere and then click next. And this is the part I want to show you today specifically is how to add the featured listings. So you can add up to 12 listings to feature in your app and on your site. They do not have to be your listings. These can be any MLS number or any address. So let's just say I specialize in Summerlin. I could go over and pull 12 um, featured MLS numbers that are in Summerlin or 12 listings by address and feature those. It doesn't say I'm the exclusive listing agent. As a matter of fact, what you'll see is when you go to the website at the bottom, sorry, I'm bouncing around here, balangrouphomes.com, the listing agent's name is predominantly uh, displayed, David Lamer, David Lamer, David Lamer. So in this particular case, these are actually listings from uh, my team. David is on my team. So what I did is I went in and made a list of David's listings and I went and pulled his MLS numbers. I didn't do all of them yet, but I grabbed a few. And this is a great way for the Rainmaker to display team listings or each person on the team can display each other's listings. You could display office listings. You could display... You know, let's just say I'm doing high rises, so I want to feature high rises. They don't have to be my listings. I'm just putting them on the on the front page to feature them. Okay. So however you want to do that and feel good about that, let me show you how to add those featured listings. Now, I don't know if that's ever going to change. That they're going to say, no, we only want you to use your listings. So right now you're able to pull any. Okay. So we follow the Kelly guide. And right here, you're going to toggle this on. I can't reset mine now because I've already started adding to it. So you're, this is going to be grayed out. You're going to turn it on by clicking that toggle, toggling it on. And then the title, I'm not sure where that's supposed to appear. I do not see it appearing anywhere up here. It just says featured listing. So I'm not sure if that actually does anything else. But I had put my phone number in there just to see where it would show up. And then next you're going to click you're going to click select listings. When you select listings, that button there, it's going to pop open that little search box like you see when you're going to run an ad and it's going to allow you to pull listings by MLS or by address. Any listings by MLS or by address and you can select up to 12. So the first thing I did is I went in and did a search for this one and then I added it and then I went and did a new search for this one by MLS number and added it and then I did this one by MLS search and added it okay now what I've noticed is with the Kelly guide it's not letting me add any more to this page so but I want to show you where you can edit those after the fact so 
Once you've selected what you want, just go to save and continue. You can finish the Kelly guide if you want to do your home buyer guide now on your app smart plan, or you can just click through to the end and save it. And you can always come back to do those other elements, okay? Because I'm just doing the one right now. Okay, now, here's where you go to find your featured listings. You cannot edit them again right now in the Kelly Guide. The Kelly Guide seems to be for that initial setup. So what you do instead is, let me show you how I got here. I'm going to go back to the home page. You're going to go down to Consumer. Remember that everything to do with your app and your website are all in the consumer segment. So if you're going to do anything with your guides, anything with your app, anything with your agent site, anything with your landing pages, you're going to go to the consumer section. And then also we see a whole bunch of this showing up in designs, but that's another video. <laughs> so we're going to now go to site and app settings. And then you're going to go right here to featured listings. Now here you can see featured listings. Here's all the listings that I've added and I can now put those in the trash can if I don't want them anymore. They're not going to automatically go away. So you're going to have to make sure you're maintaining your featured listings. And then here I'm going to click select listings. There we go. Now we get the little box popping up open again. And here we can show only my listings. And, oh, this actually gives us more options than the other one did. Property address, MLS number, city, or zip code. So, for example, let's just say I want to show 89138. I specialize in Summerlin. I'm up here in the Vistas, and I want to show 89138. So I'm going to change this to all listings, and I'm going to hit return. Does that do it? Where's the search? Oh, zip code, 89138. There we go. Go. Okay, I'm not getting the search now. There we go. Okay, so when I search Las Vegas, that worked, but for some reason, when I'm searching zip code, oh, there we go. Okay, gosh, guys, just like anything else with commands, sometimes it takes two or three times to try it before it actually works. So there we go. That's the real deal there. All right, so now let's just say I want to feature some other ones in 89138, okay? Now what I could do is I could just scan this and say, you know, let me only show Keller Williams. Let me pop those on the featured, or you can select whatever it is. Remember, we're not specifically marketing somebody else's property. We're just selecting those to be showing on the home page. So if I want somebody who lands here to see just my listings, then I would select just those. So now I've got 12. I'm going to select done and then save changes. Now we'll go over to the home page. We're going to do a refresh and see how quick they pop up. There they are. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, now slide, slide. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Yay, KW, I like it. I'm going to get rid of that one. That one looks like a rental. Anyway, that's how you do it. Nice and simple. Whatever your strategy is, that's how you add your featured listings.